For more on our friend Jen the Archer, go to Facebook.com slash Jen the Archer. Before the Patriots' big Super Bowl win, New England head coach Bill Belichick was spotted wearing a Don't Tread on Me t-shirt. A picture of Belichick in the shirt was taken and shared on social media by Governor Palin. Bill Belichick, a patriot all the way. This past week, Governor Palin promoted Convention of States, saying, quote, instead of just talking about our need for a balanced budget while powerful politicians ignore the will of the people and dig us trillions of dollars more into debt, we have a way to force D.C. to listen. A provision within the Constitution gives states the power to call a convention for the purpose of proposing amendments to the Constitution, like a balanced budget amendment, unquote. COS is picking up steam across the country, and Governor Palin is firmly on board. Meantime, liar and news anchor Brian Williams was caught this past week with his whopper of a tail making headlines. Williams has quote-unquote apologized for falsely saying on the air that he was in a helicopter hit by a rocket-propelled grenade while in Iraq in 2003. Governor Palin called out his shenanigans. Palin wrote, when one of their own repeats a lie for 12 years but is excused with the help of the media's herd, mentality, tragic distrust, and despondency blankets our land. The veil is torn. However, with the revelation of exaggerated self-centered falsehoods like NBC's perpetual lie that belittled our soldiers and their truly courageous missions, the face of that network's news lied about combat experiences in Iraq and then with false humility accepted the title of war hero. While the press ignores, disrespects, and often destroys the good name of our true war heroes, to me, that's like soiling sacred ground. To see any of the governor's posts in their entirety, visit Sarah Palin's Facebook page, follow her on Twitter, at Sarah Palin USA, and visit SarahPalinChannel.com. It's time for Commonwealth Common Sense with Susan Stimson and Kevin Shola. Hello, Susan. How you doing? Kevin, doing great. Another week has quickly gone by. It has, and you know, a little over a year and a half has quickly gone by as well. Uh, for folks who don't know, uh, this is our final installment of Commonwealth Common Sense. Susan Stimson, after joining us, what, I think in July of 2013, a uh, nice run here on the program. Uh, we're going to wrap things up on this program, and... Uh, not because we're, you know, giving you a Brian Williams deal here, but because <laughs> Susan has some things she's working on. So uh, why don't you tell everybody what's happening in Virginia with you? Well, Kevin, we have had a lot of the same things happening in Virginia that cause quite a bit of frustration around the nation with the federal level. And that is we have leaders who run for office and then they don't do what they say they're going to do. And I am challenging the Speaker of the House for his seat or for the people's seat in the House of Delegates here in Virginia. I live in his district, and we have been friends, but we disagree profoundly on policy. And I served on the Board of Supervisors here and also chairman of the board. And in the four short years that I was on there, our board cut nine taxes. We cut our own pay by 25%. We um, had a budget that was less than the year before, the first time that it happened since 1965. Stafford is prospering, conservative governing works, and we do not have that same leadership in Richmond. So I decided that I am going to challenge the speaker, and I've been knocking on a lot of doors, and I'm going to continue to do so, and the primary is this June. And we intend to win this seat, and it's going to be a win for the people. Well, obviously, we supported your run for lieutenant governor. That's the whole reason we started this segment on the program. And, uh, I mean, the whole title itself, Commonwealth, Common Sense, that's what you've uh, brought uh, to this show and also to your state, uh, just doing things. Uh, I think you just, in a microcosm a moment ago, you said his seat and then changed it to the people's seat, which is, I think, a lot of uh, you know people who are elected don't understand that they work for us and not the uh, other way around. Um, how can people find out more about your campaign and maybe help you out? Well, they could go to www.susanstimson.com and they can learn about the campaign here in Virginia. And it's in Stafford County. It's House District 28. And Bill Howell is the Speaker of the House of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And he's going on his 13th year as Speaker and he's almost completing 28 years in the House of Delegates. So 
I'm, I don't think that the Founding Fathers intended for such long terms and for it to be a career. I think that that this is meant to be uh, something where citizens move in and they move out and they don't hold on to that power for too long because it's it's the people's power. It's not the individual who ho- holds the seat. What's been the reaction so far uh, from the Republican Party and uh, from people that you've spoken to here as you head toward primary day? I have the overwhelming support of most of the Republican leaders here in the entire Fredericksburg region. And as I am knocking on doors, I can tell you that my sense of things was that the mood was ready for change. But I will tell you that as I am out on the doors, I am very greatly encouraged by the positive response that I'm hearing and that I'm seeing. And I think that a lot of people just instinctively know that we can do things in a better way here in Virginia, and they are ready for change. Well, it's very exciting, Susan. You know, we backed you, of course, for your lieutenant governor run, and, and this is, uh, we hate to lose you here. I mean, you've been just tremendous, but this is uh, uh, very exciting stuff happening in Virginia. You're welcome here anytime. Uh, we're going to talk, I'm sure, before the primary. Uh, hopefully have you on the program to do that as well, and uh, we'll be monitoring things. But uh, couldn't think of a better person to take that seat, and uh, we wish you all the best and hope to help you in any way we can. But uh, again, uh, a heartfelt thank you for the year and a half or year in seven months or whatever it's been um, for helping us here on the Palin Update on Mama Grizzly Radio. Well, Kevin, the work that you do uh, providing information and having guests on your show so that the rest of the nation can can listen and learn about different things that are happening in our nation and the way that we can continue to grow and strengthen the conservative movement and just turning things back to what the original intent was of the Constitution. Just our government should exist to secure and defend our God-given right to life, to liberty, pursuit of happiness. And I just thank you for what you do. I thank you for the opportunity to be on this program. And I'm looking forward to catching up with you and your audience very soon in the near future. See, how could you not vote for this woman? Thank you, Kevin. (laughs) I appreciate you so much. All right. We'll talk soon. Thanks, Kevin. Susan Stimson in Virginia, a great run of Commonwealth Common Sense. We wish Susan the very best in her race in Virginia and thank her for her commitment to the Palin Update. Now our weekly commentary, Steel Resolve. Here's Sarah Steelman. Thanks, Kevin. Just when you think our priorities can't get any more messed up, they do. This was a little tidbit that happened in Missouri this week. Apparently, St. Louis University has commissioned a sculpture to be erected on campus that administrators say they hope captures the spirit and importance of a week-long Occupy SLU protest last fall on the campus. So-called activists refused to leave the St. Louis University campus in a protest as an extension of the summertime riots in Ferguson over the shooting of Michael Brown. During the protest, they flew an upside-down American flag and gave speeches on topics such as, and I quote, conscious awakening, systemic oppression, white supremacy, and students' responsibility to the community. They wouldn't leave until the administration met certain demands. One of the demands was a mutually agreed-upon commissioned artwork. Now, granted, SLU is a private university, and they certainly have the right to erect a statue. In all likelihood, it's not going to be a statue honoring the sacrifice that police officers make on a daily basis. It's going to be a memorial to the Michael Brown protesters who dishonored the American flag and were trying to turn a terribly unfortunate tragedy into something it wasn't. Such a waste of money. It could have been used to offer scholarships to those students who would prefer to get a college education than to memorialize those who burned down a town. This is Sarah Steelman for Mama Grizzly Radio. Tune in again next week for another segment of Steel Resolve right here on the Palin Update. The Palin Update, including Commonwealth Common Sense and Steel Resolve, is on demand and available for download. So just head to mamagrizzlyradio.com, pick the show you want to hear, and you can listen anywhere, anytime. Well, that'll just about do it for this edition of the Palin Update on Mama Grizzly Radio. Visit mamagrizzlyradio.com for continuing coverage of Governor Palin. Also, like Mama Grizzly Radio on Facebook and follow along on Twitter at Mama Grizz Radio at 
Kevin Shola, at Susan B. Stimson, at Sarah underscore Steelman, and at 3DSTS. And I'm doing some writing for Breitbart News. Go to Breitbart.com and search Kevin Shola. I'm also doing a weekly segment on Eddie Burke's program in Alaska. It's called Bear Facts and Grizzly Details with Kevin Shola. You can hear it now on Mondays at 9.30 a.m. Alaska time, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Tune into Hot Talk KOAN. Visit 1080KOAN.com. That's 1080KOAN. I want to thank Sarah Steelman, Susan Stimson, and everyone here at Mama Grizzly Radio. Thanks to Jen Cordaro, and thank you for listening today. A special thanks to our sponsor, 3D Security and Training Academy. Visit 3DSTA.com. And a happy birthday to Chuck Heath Jr., a great friend to the show, and Sarah Palin's big brother. Salute, Chuck, and many more. Please be sure to join us again next time for another edition of the Palin Update right here on Mama Grizzly Radio. I'm Kevin Shola. Have a pleasant day.